All right, everyone, I want to give you a little tip that I've learned here about uh, limiting the area that your HandyBot can move while you're jogging. So normally when I first start up the HandyBot, I hit C3, and that zeroes out X and Y. So the machine will physically bump into the proximity switches on X and Y, and it will find its physical zero which is at X0 and Y0, or more simply, in the bottom left corner. And you can see it's doing that right now. And once it's done, the tool is zeroed in the X and Y axis. And we can see that right now, X0 and Y0. So one of the problems I've run into is if I'm doing a job that, let's say I'm cutting a small hole or a slot or something like that, uh, that is out in the middle of the cutting area, I'll go into jog and I'll use the arrow keys and I'll jog the tool out to wherever I want to start my particular job. Um, and that works fine. The problem is, is sometimes I have been jogging around and accidentally hit the end of the physical axis. And I'll show you what I mean. If I go back over here to X0 in this direction and I hit the physical end of X like that, obviously the machine can't move any further. But the more I try to jog an X, the more negative the number is. And now I've lost the zero. The machine doesn't know where zero is anymore because I've hit the physical end of it. Now, that's really annoying, and that means um, at the very least you've lost your zero and you need to run C3 again. And at the worst, you could actually lose the position on a job that you're doing and you could ruin the piece of wood that you're cutting. Now there is a way in the ShopBot software to prevent that from happening, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit escape, I'm going to run C3 again, which is 0x and y, and the machine again will use the physical proximity switches on x and y to zero itself out, and we'll let that run through here. And in just a moment we'll again have x and y at physical zero. Okay, so that's all done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Values, and I'm going to go to Limits for Table. And that is actually going to let us input some different high and low X and Y numbers here. Uh, so for the low X, that is the minimum value that X can travel to. I'm going to say negative 0 0.001. And the high X limit, so that's the, the highest it can go in X. We know with the handy bot is 6 inches. So I'm actually going to say 6.01. Uh, for y, again, negative 0 0.001. And for the y, we know that the physical travel is 8 inches, so I'm actually going to say 8.001. And then I'm going to go down here to file limit checking, and I'm actually going to turn this on, and I'm going to hit OK. Uh, so now I've set those values. We're at physical x and y 0, and I'm going to go to one more setting here. I'm going to go to 0. And I'm going to zero the table base coordinates as well. And it's going to say, are you sure you want to zero the table base coordinate system? And I'm going to say, OK. Now, watch what happens when I go jog. So I'll jog out here into the middle of the X, the middle of Y somewhere. And I'm going to head back over to X0. And the machine automatically stops. No physical end of X. It stopped automatically. Same thing with Y. Now what watch what happens when I go to the end of Y, all the way to 8 inches. The machine will automatically stop. Same thing with the uh, end of X. It will stop exactly at 6 and 8 inches. And this will also let you know if you load a file into the machine that exceeds the physical limits of the machine. It will actually pop up a warning. So you'll know beforehand if you have accidentally loaded a job that is going to run into the physical end of these axes and lose your zero. Uh, so great little tip that I found. This gives me the freedom to sort of jog around. Um, this can be great if I'm cutting on a piece of material that is real close to what I think the end of a job is and I can sort of physically jog over it and just double check my cut without having any fear of losing my zero. Uh, so hopefully this uh, helps you guys out.